All right, in the last segment, we talked about physical integration, and we used the example of a point of sale system being integrated to a video surveillance system. Well, let's just look at how that might be done in the cloud. So these days, point of sale systems are often cloud based. The data is collected in the cloud, the applications reside in the cloud. And video management systems can be cloud based. So it's possible to integrate two systems virtually by simply sending data from one to the other at the appropriate times. This means that there are no longer any cables or signals or protocols at the shop floor level. All of the integration happens in the cloud. The reason this improves the situation is that people who architect cloud services have managed to use a lot of standard data exchange techniques and formats. And so a cloud architect from one application domain and a cloud ar architect from another, they know what they have to do to move data across the cloud. They use something called an application program interface, an API. And it's relatively straightforward. Now, I'm not saying that you don't need skilled people to do it and to write the software, but you no longer have the kind of headaches that we experienced when integration was being done on the shop floor. But it's more than just being able to connect a point of sale system and a video management system. We talked in the earlier example about the human resources management system, and even human resource people are using the cloud these days for human resource management. And so now it becomes possible to take the information that's been collected in the other two systems and put together and tie that in with the employee information from the HRMS so that everything can be done. All of the procedures and protocols that are required are followed and they're followed automatically. And it's much less burden on the store management to be able to do this. The system now has much more value than it did before far less headaches than it did before. So I've used this example, but I could go on and talk about many others where being able to integrate systems in the cloud opens up new possibilities, things that couldn't be done before with an ease that was just not known before. So to summarize, video surveillance provides value, which I expressed in three fundamental dimensions, awareness, evidence, and behavior modification. Traditional CCTV technology addressed each of these dimensions and created a potential value space defined by its technological limits. IP-based video surveillance extended each vector of value by overcoming barriers to scalability and image quality. Replacing the PAL NTSC signal with packet data transfer opened many new possibilities. Its technological complexity could have become an impediment to adoption, but the ONVIF organization emerged so that manufacturers could standardize interfaces and protocols, allowing equipment from different vendors to work together as integrated systems. The cloud now has the potential to extend these value vectors once again, with cloud-to-cloud -cloud integration making it possible to bring together information from an almost unlimited range of sources and systems. The opportunities to create new value are enormous. The cloud is a gift. Unwrap it. Understand it. Use it.